to attend. The First Lady accidentally stole the spotlight at yesterday's White House music recital, as Jacqueline Adams reports. <laughs> Vladimir Horowitz, the renowned Russian-born pianist, thrilled an audience at the White House yesterday. As the president thanked him, First Lady Nancy Reagan toppled off a small stage. She lost an earring and was slightly shaken, but she was able to joke, I guess I livened things up. The president treated her like a trooper. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> the mood grew more serious when During President Reagan decades, turned to next weekend's mini-summit in Iceland. And in preparing for this meeting, I have found words that Mr. Horowitz is coming to mind. I am not a communist, he said, but I was brought up to seek the good. I hope that by playing in the Soviet Union, I will make the good better. Well, just so in going to Iceland, it's my fervent hope that we'll be able to strengthen the good in this world, peace and freedom that all of us here so deeply cherish. Soviet Union, I will make the good better. Well, just so in going to Iceland, it's my fervent hope that we'll be able to strengthen the good in this world, peace and freedom that all of us here so deeply cherish. As the president was thanking Horowitz, First Lady Nancy Reagan tumbled off the small stage where she was sitting. She was not hurt, and the president treated the accident as just part of the act. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> and I guess I liven things up. Pianist Vladimir Horowitz received a rousing welcome as he played for an audience at the White House Sunday. The guests included many prominent members of the music world. Let's listen for a moment to Horowitz's performance. First Lady Nancy Reagan admittedly lived things up after the performance. She apparently nudged her chair too close to the edge of the stage while smoothing her skirt and fell over. Mrs. Reagan assured everyone she was not hurt. The incident occurred as President Reagan was delivering some remarks about Horowitz. He told Mrs. Reagan she was only supposed to do that if he didn't receive any applause. The First Lady was seated at the end of a small stage as the President began a tribute to pianist Vladimir Horowitz, who was seated next to her. But then Mrs. Reagan's chair tipped over, sending her off the platform and into the potted chrysanthemums. Secret Service agents and other guests rushed to her rescue, but it turned out she was not hurt. As Horowitz held the First Lady tightly, the President had the last word. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> Ronald Reagan strikes again. Mrs. Reagan was the unexpected center of attention at a White House gathering last night. She lost her balance and fell off her chair into some flowers. 82-year-old piano virtuoso Vladimir Horowitz played for a distinguished gathering. He'd recently scored a resounding success in a tour of the Soviet Union, the place where he was born. Chaos of civil war in Russia, performing again and again for no greater payment than flour or chocolates. In his own words, I felt the atmosphere in Russia, I identified with them and tried to put it all into my playing. <laughs> Well, the summit-bound President Reagan took note of Horowitz's recent triumph in Russia until he was upstaged by his wife. <laughs> Maestro Vladimir Horowitz gave a concert yesterday at the White House for the first couple and their invited guests. First Lady Nancy Reagan had a slight accident during the ceremony, but she wasn't hurt. CNN's Bob Lozier has a story. Vladimir Horowitz played the White House, commanding the rapt attention of Washington's elite. The 82-year-old master earned several standing ovations, and the president expressed hope that his summit with Soviet leader Gorbachev will be as successful as Horowitz's recent triumphant appearances in Moscow. But during the president's remarks, Mrs. Reagan, sitting next to Horowitz, stole the show after she stood up to adjust her skirt. 
The first lady in her chair tumbled into a display of flowers, but Mrs. Reagan was soon standing up and trading wisecracks with her husband. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause. Anymore. Mrs. Reagan returned to her place next to a shaken Vladimir Horowitz who gave her an embrace. Quipped Mrs. Reagan, that's the reason I did this. Bob Lozier, CNN reporting. She handled it well.